G'day guys, Blue here. Welcome back to my time at Sandrock. Hope you guys are doing well and as you can see we're standing here in the middle of Katori World and in the previous episode that is essentially what happened. Katori World had its grand opening. We rode on the roller coaster as the very first guest I suppose. I mean we did already ride it beforehand but uh, still it was a very cool experience. And yeah, I mean, look at the amount of tourists and just other people sort of being here as well. Apparently we've hired uh, people that we've never seen before as well. So Sandrock is definitely growing very, very large, isn't it? Um, and yeah, it'd be interesting to see what kind of quests will actually take us back here to Katori World. Um, I'm sure there are probably going to be a few side quests here and there. Uh, there are various things that we haven't exactly seen like green world up here and uh, I remember the sand buggies that we did end up making for this place as well which we haven't really experienced. Uh, one of these days we'll come back and actually check things out properly but it is late so it's time to go home and I reckon we'll probably uh, also just have a sleep. I do have a little bit of stamina though. So I'm sort of umming and ahhing between whether or not I want to have a sleep immediately or if I should just continue gathering stuff. But uh, anyway, you know what would be nice uh, if there was a Yakmal station somewhere in the uh, in in the actual theme park grounds. That would be nice. But yeah, I I'll probably come back here and do a. Uh, a bigger explore. Um, so far the game hasn't exactly given us any points of interest or um, you know things like um, actual uh, conversations or or missions to do out there so I'm hoping that'll happen. Oh yeah let's head back. And in this episode, I mean, with Katori World done now, the only other thing that we need to do is to complete uh, replanting of the Saxel trees. So, well, not replanting, but planting more Saxel trees. So, yeah, we should actually do that. Uh, I can't remember why there are so many decorations here. Oh, yes, that's right. There was the sand running event as well. So everything's happening all at once. Uh, all right. So I reckon can get Merle to go back to the stable and we'll just have a quick look around for uh, things that we might need to do before going to sleep. We are running out of time though. Grab that, that, and that. And why don't we go with more mushrooms. Okay, very good. So let's actually have a sleep before we pass out. Very good. And in the previous episode, we also played around with uh, having a uh, a factory to replace what we've got here, which is the kitchen. So I'm going to see if we can do that at some point. I'm not entirely sure if we'll do it this episode or or when we'll do it exactly. Okay, so looking at our to-do list, it is just the Saxel trees remaining. Um, haven't really seen any other sort of main storyline development, so... Let's just grab a few commissions. Yeah, we'll grab that one. And I'll actually take a look at our mailbox here. Something from Ma. Dear Blue, your pa and I saw you in the paper again. This time it was for the opening of Katori World. I can't believe Sandrock has a theme park. What fun. I heard a group of people from Highwind are going to make the trip. I wonder if that includes our Ma and Pa.
first theme park, uh, sorry, <laughs> first theme park in the free cities, there's even a roller coaster. It's so cool. I don't think there's anyone, uh, sorry, I don't think there's one anywhere else. You can come and ride it sometime. Again, I'm sort of secretly hoping that my and Pa will actually turn up uh, with this group from Highwind. Blue, guess what? Uh, do you know what day it is? It's water day. Yeah, we've seen these before. Thanks, Burgess. Bit of water always helps. Now, uh, before we go off and do commissions and stuff, let's actually get some machines organized. Aluminium scrap, sure. And what else can we work on? Let's go with the nano waste. I'm thinking of grabbing some more though. We don't actually have much brick, do we? I'll uh, actually make some bricks. So I know that there are certain things that need to be made out of the bricks that we make from the furnace as well. Um, chromium steel. Seems we're a little low on that front, so we'll have to circle back to that. Right. Double checking on what we've got going at the farm. More stuff to deal with. Maybe we'll go with a mountain rose. I feel like we haven't done the mountain rose for a while. How are these guys going? So we'll need a little bit more food, I reckon. Alright. Good times. Oh. Almost missed that one. And the animals. We should actually look after these guys. Oh yes, and... Clearing up the uh, actual stuff that we get from them. Keep forgetting to do that. Okay, so, um... Can we make some more fertilizer, perhaps? Mm, we've got quite a bit. We can't really make too much, though. Sort of thinking if there's anything that I want to be making. Maybe we can go with some more brand bait. Because at least that's going to be useful. Alright, good. Um, let's go out, do the commissions, and then after that we will uh, try to aim for a hundred black saxel trees planted. Okay, so it's just Chi and Owen that need these things, so perhaps maybe we can go with Chi first. Owen, he's off somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where he would be, but 700 meters away. Oh, he must be uh, going for the Tour de Rock, which is happening today. I could participate. Thank you. You may have noticed that Katori's roller coaster is fast, very fast. This is because the aerodynamic designs were based off of that, uh, off that. Oh, okay, that's a little bit weird. Off of that spacecraft I analyzed in the Starship Ruins. I highly recommend riding it, as it's the only currently known way, uh, known way to experience a brief moment of zero gravity. There you go. Right, sir. Uh, let's see if we can find Owen. If we happen to be uh, getting close to Tour de Rock, then we may as well, like, do one race. We did one race in the previous episode, didn't really win, got third place, so bit of a reward. That's not too bad. I wonder if a lot of other people sort of say different things now. <laughs> I want to go play in the grass. Look how fast I can run. Okay. I guess maybe a lot of the newer people in Sandrock, they don't exactly 
do too much aside from populate Sandrock, maybe? Yeah, I mean, I thought most of the people would have been hanging around in uh, the Valley of Whispers to, you know, enjoy Katori World, considering it's just open pebbles! Off on your own, crossing the tracks and stuff. That is dangerous. Did you come to play with me? Um, well, not, not really. I came here to turn in commissions and perhaps win some races. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many bookings we've got since Katori World opened. I couldn't give a room at the Blue Moon to my own parents for the next month easy. There you go. Tourism is booming. Allo? Mm -hmm. I think I uh, called him Arlo at some point uh, for for a little bit. Uh, something wrong? Not really. Seems like we can't really interact with Allo too much. His grandma must be missing him though. Um, hundred and... or more than a hundred minutes before the next one. So we would speed up time if we do join, which I don't mind. All right, let's take the center position. Okay, it's Justice and Mian. And they are doing really, really well. <laughs> oh, okay, I think Justice had a bit of a crash there. Oh, I don't know how I managed to get second place. I don't know what happened to Mian. Alright. Not bad. Second place this time. Improvement from the last time. So, that was pretty good. Righto. Time to head back and yeah it's time for us to go to the Ufala Outback from here because uh, we've got work to do. Um, let me get myself to a Yakmal station. Okay, things are looking very nice over here. I wonder how big these trees get, actually. They still seem to be a little bit small, and if you sort of uh, ask me, I feel like in order for trees to have an effect on sandstorms, I would imagine that they would need to be even bigger than what they currently are, but anyway. 
we won't uh, we won't get into too much of that detail. <laughs> let's uh, let's try and do things carefully. I said carefully. <laughs> A tidy bit more, I feel. I feel like maybe this might even do it, right? Okay. Uh, we don't have enough Saxol seeds. Have we completed the work, though? exit and yeah I think we did so that's that and I did see some kind of thing that we got as a reward for completing that um, I don't know if it's like a more advanced planting kit or something planting kit level three there you go so I can't remember now if you actually have to uh, continually carry the planting kit and the um, the home editing kit but um, yeah I mean if if I don't need this old one I'll store it oh we got Gungam X <laughs> and oh, we've already read that though so we've got another copy I'm sure if we gave it to Chi, he would, you know, really appreciate that. But I'll keep this one. He's already got a copy, you know. Um, right, let's head back out. And at this point, I am making a very big assumption that uh, we might actually see the story progress when we wake up tomorrow morning or maybe in a couple of days. Um, actually, I might make my way home manually here because um, I'm going to try and see if I can come across that vulture that seems to be in the area. It's sort of like a mini boss of the area um, because I think one of you guys have mentioned that there might be a chest there. So... I'll see if I can double check the area. But I have a feeling that we have sort of searched this area before. Um, okay, there is a, a chest up there. But this is not... Oh, yeah, that's where the, the vulture is. The buzzard. Well, we may as well get rid of him. Alright, we get some ruins tokens from that as well. Interesting. Okay, so let's just carefully make our way there. Yak Boy small picture frame. Okay, there we go. I guess these are the sort of things that uh, apparently we can sort of replace with our own pictures. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how that works though. It, this probably has something to do with the camera, which again, I haven't unlocked and I'm having some real difficulty finding camera parts for. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it's happening, guys. I mean, if I do hang up picture frames and stuff, I might just leave things as is. Um, I might not worry too much about 
getting our own pictures in there. I wonder if you can put in pictures from, like, um, cutscenes and stuff. I know you can probably, like, re-view cutscenes in the menus somewhere. And I'm wondering if perhaps maybe you can sort of get a picture or a still of, like, one of those cutscenes to populate one of those, um, those picture frames. Anyway, well, uh, you can go back. Uh, oh, actually, I'm sort of having a think here. It is, oh, it's, there's not really a lot of time, is there? Let's get you going back and... I guess I'll have to be content just, you know, clearing up the, the Ufala salvage and... I don't know if there's anything else around here that I would like to... to gather. Perhaps maybe just forwarding the time is the best thing to do. Okay, uh, just gonna also check on the town, make sure that there is nothing that I'm missing here. We have, uh, in the previous episode, missed quite a few different conversations that would have happened, I feel. Um, so I'm trying not to miss those when I see them. Alright, I think it's time for bed. It is early, but I'm fine with that. No farming to do. Oh, uh, did not mean to do that. They don't seem to be taking any more food though. I can't feed them anymore. I guess it's like you can feed them once every two days or something. Um, let's have a look at what's going on here. Am I imagining things or is... Uh, is Rosie filling the generator with fuel? I think she might be, or actually no, she might be taking fuel for herself maybe. Uh, because I think she is powered by power stones, right? Um, one other thing about Rosie is apparently we might need to also improve our relationship with her. Yeah, okay. There is just the workshop assistant, weathering forecast, and pet management, so I wouldn't imagine that she would be refueling the generator. Um, so apparently we can also gift stuff to Rosie. Um, I don't know what we would gift her. Plus nine. Ah, yes, we can only gift people uh, one thing a day. Keep forgetting about that. So, anyway, time for bed, I feel. You know, before I do that, I've just seen the, um, the skill point that's been made available to us, so I might as well just, like, spend that. Yeah, I'm sort of just putting things in wherever, because, uh, I'm sort of satisfied with, uh, all of the skills 
that we've learnt so far, so... Everything is neither here nor there. Righto, so what is happening today? Because we don't really have anything on the list. A lot of people wanting to hang out. Blue, I'm taking a day off to give Aloe a tour of Sandrock and show him everything I've been working on while I've been here, while since. <laughs> yeah, there's some of the stuff that, that's been written. I think uh, the devs probably should go through, I mean, there's probably a lot, but they should go through quite a bit and sort of just look at some of the grammatical errors in there. <laughs> um, I would love to, uh, for you to join us. Consider all the rides and games on me. Let's meet in front of the Golden Goose at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Hopefully the weather forecast holds true and we'll have a fantastic day. Looking forward to seeing you. Okay, cool. So spending more time with Katori. That's fine by me. Uh, Dear Blue, you guys are awesome. Mayor Trudy sent me a photo of the forest you planted. I couldn't believe it. You really planted a forest in the desert. You really are so amazing. Nia should be with you by now, right? She went over with that Professor Le. She didn't tell me, sorry, she didn't let me tell you earlier. She was so excited. Say hi to her for me. Oh, and tell her that her ma asked for more jujube, jujube cake. Love you lots, ma. Um, yeah, this is the first step. Next is to turn Sandrock green again. Mayor Trudy is really inspiring. She wants to turn it into the jewel of the Eufala. Nia and Professor Lur helped a lot. Very good. Um, Danby and her cantaloupes. So we'll take that. Got a lot of stuff. My inventory is full as well. I'm gonna have to sort of try to sort stuff and store stuff. I got a lot of like books that I haven't really placed down. I know I need to do that, but it's a little bit hard because uh, I'm trying to sort of plan for a nice home and I sort of want it to be maybe the last sort of home editing that we do or the last bit of home editing that we do. Oh yes, that's right. I was also in the middle of trying to upgrade our, um, our cooking station. Or have I done that? Can't remember. I do have a copper pot though, <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, yeah, quickly double check on that. Nope. This is at the highest level. I guess we did it. Um, previous episode or the episode before that. Alright, so chromium is definitely something we need to top up and what else do we need to get? Magnesium, chromium brick. We'll keep going with normal bricks as well when we get the chance. Uh, recycling, um... Go with plastic and I can't remember where we find fine wood scrap, guys. Um, I don't seem to have a lot. Perhaps maybe it's just um, gathering up some of the dead wood trees that are nearby, possibly. All right, we'll leave that to keep going. Right, commissions maybe? So, the filters for Burgess, um, yeah, these seem okay, and what else? Rhino horn cactuses, sure. So, let's get to these commissions, and, uh, we'll also just double check again that there's nothing going on today. There's something going on here in front of City Hall, actually, so I will go and check that out. See what's happening.
Otherwise, today could be a relatively free day for us to just do what we want. Maybe. Thank you. A lot of people seem to have something new to say about Thank the Tory world, so we will try and check in with mm. several people. Have you gone to Katori World yet? It's a miracle of modern engineering, I tell ya. Think I'm going to have to stay off the roller coaster though. Too many ups and downs. Take her easy. Alright. Uh Heidi, what do you think? Hmm. I love looking off into the distance and seeing that theme park. Not just because we helped build it, but because it represents the story of a woman who gambled everything on a better life for her family and won. I admire that. Partner. Cool. Um, Way. Howdy. Hmm. Me? I'm not one for the roller coasters. Give me the good old carousel any day of the week. One speed, one direction. That's my idea of a good time. No unpleasant twists or turns. Take her easy. Fair enough. Yeah, ro roller coasters are not exactly for everyone. Um, been on a few. Nothing crazy. <laughs> Katori World? Roller coasters, flashing lights, and candy apples. You betcha. Just do one thing for me, will you, Blue? I, uh, if I'm going to the theme park too often, if you think I have a problem, you'll tell me, right? <laughs> Catch you later. Yeah, some people absolutely love it. Trudy? Hey there. Oh. Katori World? It's an outstanding achievement, really, but. Whew, safety regulations are a real headache, and Jasmine asked me to take her there about 10 times a day. Yeah, I guess it'll get maybe quite boring for people who live right next to a theme park, uh, because they would have gone many times over. So it's not going to be as special anymore, perhaps. Um, oh, I keep forgetting what these cats like. I don't, I don't think they like jerky, because that's what we're keeping for the dogs. Or is it the jerky? Actually, let's try the jerky. Okay, yeah, yeah you don't like the jerky. <laughs> I guess it might be better for dogs. Uh, let's check in on what's going on here. Did I pronounce that right? Foreign languages have never been my strong suit. You perform splendidly, governing human. To pronounce it any more authentically would l likely require changes to your tongue. Uh huh. Well, I must say it is nice to have you and your beautiful wife back in Sandrock again. Thank you. Many thanks, governing human. My breeding partner has informed me of your benevolent rule. <laughs> benevolent. <laughs> Rather than call for our execution, you have chosen compassion. You have our eternal fealty. Hmm. Uh, um, well, that's great, but, well, I think if you'd gotten to know us sooner, you'd have seen that compassion is the Sandrock way. How are things faring over at the Blue Moon, Larry? Owen says you've taken well to the job. <laughs> yes, I am conquering the, uh, conquering the role. Soon I shall be commander of all cutlery and forkware. Ah, look who it is! Blue! Our new Giggler friends have come back to live in our town again. Oh, that's awesome. I thought they uh, decided to just like go off and live on their own and, you know, continue to run Giggle Corp. Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> You're letting another one in? What ended up happening with your company? We have disbanded, strong human. Our holy book was a sham, and it always has been. They needed to know the truth, no matter the cost. Many of their hearts could not bear it. Some of my brethren formed their own companies, but many of them wished once again to follow me. But a true giggler should be free, as we are now. I have told them as much. Cousin Gary, I'm afraid, would not be moved. I suspect there are those still out there who yet carry the banner of false prophet, of a false po uh, prophet. They have scurried off, tails between their legs. They would never be so foolish as to attack Sandrock again. At least, 
uh, uh, sorry, least of all while Larry is here as a guardian. You may rest easy, governing human. Oh, oh um, great. One less thing, right? Mm. Governing human, there is a matter which I would bring to your attention. Xena and I wish to express our gratitude in the form of action. What tasks do you have at your disposal? More danger means more glory. Hmm. Hmm, well, we could always use extra hands over at the Yakmal stations. Mm -hmm. If I may interject, governing human, on our journey here I spotted a fledgling wood budding... A uh, fledgling wood budding out to the north. I do not wish to besmirch your battle prowess, but a uh, forest such as that would be perfect a perfect angle to of attack for a roaming war party. Indeed, were it me, I would choose that very spot to launch my attack. That's what I love about you, Xena. Dearest, you're so viciously con conniving. <laughs> Hus. Well, I don't know about all that, but Zeke has been saying he needs some more help. More caretakers to help him expand the forest footprint quickly. And I guess we weren't anticipating all those pests. Pests? Speak their name and soon their name shall be spoken no more. <laughs> um, fruit flies. A lot of fruit flies have been showing up from somewhere and eating up some of our new greenery. Fruit? Flies. The Gigglers have a new arch enemy or arch nemesis. Bellow their name and seethe with hatred. Fruit flies. Fruit flies. Rah! I will drink from their skulls. <laughs> well, they're bugs, so you know what? Don't worry. I think you'll figure it out. The city of uh, city, of course, will reimburse you for your troubles. You hear that, Xena? We'll earn goals for our mercenary work. Goals can be used to purchase goods and services within human society. Goods which include weapon and weapons and raw meat. This is the arrangement most humans only dream of. <laughs> uh, yes, I suppose that is the gist of it. Let's get the two of you situated. You said you'd like to move into that abandoned cave? Indeed, a wooden home is impractical as a stronghold, too many paths of entry, and severely lacking in choke points. Mm. Well, um, start moving in whenever, let us know if you need help, and welcome back to Sandrock. Yes. Strong human, it is known that your skill lies not only in that of the blade, but also in the art of construction. Might you grace us with these skills as we build up our impenetr uh, impenetrable fortress? Fortress? Bloody hell. <laughs> sure, why not? Thank you. Splendid. In order for a home to be worthy of defense, it must first feel like a home. Here is a list of furniture items that will transform that cave into the lair the likes of which have never been seen. Mm. When you have completed them, bring them to my lair. It is the cave where I have heard you first did battle with the bandit human. Once I learned this was the site of great, uh, such a great clash, the, that pretty much sealed the deal. Thank you again, strong human. Okay, right. Well, they've decided to come back. I'm happy about that. And we've got yet another task, which is good. Um, let me just take a look at this. So, all right. They just need a whole bunch of stuff. Like a whole bunch of furniture for their home. Uh, I don't know exactly where this cave is, but um, yeah, we'll work on the furniture. I don't know about like completing the request immediately today, because I do feel like uh, spending some time just gathering stuff and whatnot. Um, just trying to remember if there's anything that I can sell. Yes, the pick hammer. I don't think we need the feather duster anymore. And I don't think we need the intermediate planting kit anymore. So since we've got planting kit level three, a few other things that I am carrying with me. I don't know why. Oh yes, and we've got a lot of fireworks, which I accidentally made. So, oh, uh, he doesn't have any more goals to, to buy all of it. We'll come back.
everything else we might actually need, so... Yeah, let's leave it at that. I haven't been to the Civil Corps in a while, uh, and I want to commission some more meat, just in case. Let's just quickly do that. Then we have to find Burgess somewhere. Uh, still nothing new that we can actually get from their commission board. Batch of meats coming up. Um, yeah, Miguel is still in here. I wonder if he would ever be let out at some point. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't say anything new. Let's go look for Burgess, and then we're free to do what we want for the day. Do I need more water? Probably not. I do need more cactus seeds, though. That's probably all we need. Uh, where is good old Burgie boy? I actually don't see where Burgie Boy might be. So maybe we have to come back to giving him his stuff. His cores. Oh, no, it's, uh, we need perfect ones. Okay, this happened to us before. <laughs> Man, that can be so confusing if you're not used to the whole, um, you know, item quality mechanic. Um, so, yeah. Perhaps maybe that could be something that was a bit of an issue in Porsche as well, or uh, my time at Porsche. Um, I can't exactly remember how long ago I played the game. Um, but yeah, learning that there was like so many different mechanics around, um, you know, quality of items and stuff like that. Um, could have potentially uh, been a little bit too much for me at the time. Um, why can't I... Unless I don't actually have the filtration cores. I, I don't... Maybe I don't have them. <laughs> it, it'd help if I actually make the things first. Um, right, and we are low on copper pipes, so we may as well, like stock up on a bit of a batch and from here we should be able to to fix up the quality Ooh, fluorite we need fluorite running low um, any of these give us fluorite yes May as well just get it from copper ores. That gives us more quartz as well, which we can then use for more refining. But yeah, let's refine a big batch there. Right, so um, now we're ready to actually see Burgess. Bloody hell. And once that's done, I think we'll go out to the Dead Sea. Try and get more materials from there. Unfortunately, roller coaster inspection goes beyond my area of expertise as a safety inspector. Luckily, we had a group of highly trained engineers check and double check every aspect of the park. I can, however, offer my seal of approval when it comes to fun. Absolutely. Have a good day. All right, uh, we are done. Let's grab a yak mole and let's make our way out. Yeah, so a lot of the um, homes that we've offered up to the new Sandrockers, we can't even, like, enter any of those homes, so I'm guessing a lot of the interactions with the new people are very, very limited. 
because normally everyone else uh, has a home and you can actually go in and out of those homes. Which seems odd to me, but anyway, it is, it is the way it is. Everyone's so trusting here in Sandrock. Right. Gathering up everything. I mean, there is also the matter of trying to explore the area a little bit more. We'll see how we go and how fast we can collect on some of the stuff that we uh, usually get and the the spots that we usually hit up. Yeah, so these guys are still doing their their thing, being enemies, despite Eagle Corp having disbanded. Forgetting about the poplar trees, but all right. Um, gonna see if we can try to go here. See what's out there. Is there anything up this way? sure we've been up this pipe. A little bit more nano waste there. Nice chest here. And a dead end. I guess there's not much more. Alright, not too much. Just have a quick peek at what's back here. Bit of cash. Hmm. All right. So I think we've fully explored this area. Maybe there's a pathway here. Um. 
so if we do come back to explore, which we will, um, I'll try and make my way back there. I just have a feeling that I have been up here before, and uh, I'm just trying to recall why I didn't really see this pathway previously, unless it looks like that on the map, but perhaps maybe there's something in the way, or... Or perhaps maybe we're not even ready for it, who knows, but I will go back there and check it out. But not right now. I think the moment I'm gonna head back, hitting up the poplar trees as we do, and then I think I'll start making the furniture for good old Larry and Xena. And uh, we might actually, if we have time, go out to their quote unquote lair and um, and we'll try and see uh, if we can install stuff. I was wondering what that thing was. It's just like a random pot in the middle of the sand. What was that? That was a salipede, right? Oh no, it's a shell. <laughs> I don't know what the shells and stuff do, actually. Poplar tree out there. I won't worry about that one that's further off in the distance, but I will take this one. Brilliant. Okay, it is getting late, but I think we should still have enough time to do what we want to do. So, let's head back. Yeah, I don't think the the factory stuff is happening in this episode, guys, so, um... Might look into it in the next one. The problem is, I do have to sort of remove that section that is currently our kitchen, and I have to redo all of that, so... It is gonna take a little bit of time. Hopefully, it won't take too much time, because we sort of know what we want it to look like. Uh, unfortunately, though, some of the aesthetic is going to be slightly off, at least on the outside. Um, right, so let's make all of the things for Larry, so chair, oil lamp, a a wooden box, and is that everything that we need? I think so, oh, um, a Yak Boy double bed. Where do I get a Yak Boy double bed from? Is it from here? Actually, the... The commission should actually tell us where we can get it, right? Source, from by the stairs. Okay, so we can't actually <laughs> make it ourselves. That's strange. All right, well, problem is, is by the stairs going to be open at this hour? Okay. Um... There it is. Buy one of those. I probably should get a double bed for our own home at some point. Oh, that was like 4,000 bowls? <laughs> that, that's expensive. Um, how much cash do we have? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I shouldn't be complaining. Um, right, so the last part of this is... Actually installing the stuff, right? So... Where is that? Oh, it's all the way out there... ...in... ...the outback? I guess so. I think we should have enough time though, right? So... Let me go out and, uh, try and reach them. It is one o'clock. <laughs> As a... oh, hang on. Is it one o'clock? As a result? Or... 
has it just progressed by a minute? Maybe I read that wrong. Yeah, okay, it's still about 10 o'clock. Wait a sec. Is over here, right? Yeah, just over there. Okay. Ah, this cave. I haven't really uh, come back here in a very long time, but yes, this is probably the first time that we met Logan. Well, not exactly. We were on the train when he attacked. Oh, and uh, the time actually stops in here, so that's kind of nice. Don't have to worry about things too much. Looks like they've cleared out the place of any enemies or vermin. Larry. If only Xena hadn't left, our offspring could have studied here. Well, it's not too late for that. Ride the thunderous speed machine at the canyon park. Face your fears. If you never risk your life, you never know what it is to be alive. Hmm. Well, I guess that's one way of looking at it. Perhaps. Done. Ah, home sweet home. Sweet? I will not tolerate sweetness in this lair. What has gotten into you, dear breeding partner? <laughs> Tis a human phrase. It symbolizes conquest, signifying the desired aesthetic has been reached within a lair. We have our ally, the strong human here. We have equipment worth defending, and us, my dear. I will guard this lair with my life. Oh, splendid one. Mm. Strong human, we will stay here in our lair and help out with Zeke, uh, help out this Zeke with his forest. Please feel free to visit us at any time. Find out what kind of bugs you like to eat and Xena here will fry them up for you. Thank you. Goodbye, strong human. Hmm, what kind of bugs I like to eat. Yes. Can't say I'm a fan. And mind you, I have actually tried eating bugs uh, before. I, I did have uh, a few jaunts to Asia and Southeast Asia and uh, tried a few things there. Not too bad, but, you know, not all of them are, are good. But, uh, if I had to choose my choice of bugs to eat and fry, it'd probably have to be ants. Because, uh, at least they're, they're small enough. I think the key to, to enjoying bugs, if you do decide to eat them, is, uh, not knowing that they're bugs. I mean, you would probably know, but like, if the smaller they are, the the easier to convince your brain that it's it's not the thing. You know what I mean? All right, um, time to head out. I'm just confused as to which way I'm supposed to go.
All right. Yeah, I'm glad that Larry and Xena have managed to now settle down and um, hopefully they enjoy their life as being part of Sandrock. Despite them sort of being out in the Ufella Outback though, it's uh, they are a little bit removed, but I guess this is sort of the habitat that they occupy. And uh, we have someone looking after the farm for us. Well, not the farm, the, uh, the forest for us as well, which is good. Righto, I think it's time for us to get back home and it's probably time for us to call it an episode as well. Uh, and I'm hoping in the next one, um, probably the first thing that we'll do is to join Katori on her little tour of Sandrock with Aloe. Uh, hopefully that all goes well. Uh, and then, yeah, well, I'm still yet to see what happens next with um, you know, main story quests or main story lines at this point. So we'll see how we go. Uh, there's Mian as well. We did try to hang out with Mian a little bit in the previous episode. Hopefully we'll be able to do that uh, a little bit more often. Court her a little bit and, um, you know, maybe take her on dates and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, again, still not entirely sure about all of the social mechanics, guys. So I'm still looking out for your... Um, suggestions in the comments down below about that but um, the next thing I'm gonna try when we hang out is maybe trying to go to the blue moon and seeing if we can like have a dinner date or something like that yeah anyway this is it guys hope you enjoyed the episode if you did leave that like down below leave some comments if you want to get in touch and as usual stay true and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye